South Korean cheerleader Lee Dae-hae recently announced obtaining an employment gold card in Taiwan, which allows her to diversify her career. Taiwan has been issuing these cards since 2018, including a resident visa, work permit, alien resident certificate, and re-entry permit to attract foreign talent. However, the benefits are still uncertain. The National Development Council reported that as of August, 7,198 cards were valid, but only 3,352 holders, or 46.6%, remained in Taiwan. There is no basis or mechanism to prove that these people are living in Taiwan or contributing to our industry. Legislators are considering freezing the program's budget due to concerns over its effectiveness. Some suggest requiring foreign professionals to work in Taiwan for a minimum period or meet specific outcomes to maintain their cards. Tracy Chen, a human resources specialist, proposed establishing key performance indicators to ensure foreign talent significantly contributes to Taiwan's industries. When these foreigners gain the benefits of convenience that the gold cards bring, we, in turn, need to think about what they can do for us. Of course, we hope that they can make some contributions in cross-border exchanges or in technological industries among others. The NDC emphasized the card provides freedom without requiring holders to stay in Taiwan and aims to facilitate international connections and industry upgrades. Experts suggest additional measures could enhance its overall efficacy. Francis Lan, Chen Ruhuan, Vivian Shao, TVBS World Taiwan.